I am a frequent visitor to this courtroom. I wonder this time what their judgment will be. I hear wagging tongues, diagnosis spilling like vomit from their mouths. I see the gavel that the judge is itching to slam and pass sentence. I want a fair trial, but I know I will not receive one. I am a frequent visitor to this courtroom. I pretend to have a few witnesses to my truth. I feel at least this way, I won't have to keep it buried in the crypt that society proclaims as manhood. I touch my closet and dress myself in the extrovert camouflage, a theme to disguise the introvert. I worry that the lie will soon betray me. So instead, I cry a desert so that you will not drown in my tears of hurts. I am a frequent visitor to this courtroom. I understand that none of us are innocent. All members of this room riddled with corruption. I say I am here to speak my matters of mine, but this is before the bailiff uses shame to arrest my tongue. I hope if you are unable to find your light, that you are still able to develop in your dark room. And if you should find yourself there, you will receive a fair trial and all the support from all your loved ones. I am a frequent visitor to this courtroom. Thank you. I am trapped in a trepid love triangle between me, my anxiety, and I. See, I wonders like a worried wife where me has been. Every time anxiety comes home with perfume on his shirt and lipstick on his seams. I hears anxiety's whispered quivers in every lie he has ever delivered. I sees me shiver with every cry that adds to this teary river. I wants all of us, when we're in public, to form an equilateral. Destroy the isosceles between anxiety and me, hoping this might make us look more natural. But I am trapped in a trepid love triangle. I pretends every time people come over to visit, it pretends that me is okay and tells them anxiety is not home today. I feels her alter ego grow inside and names her anxiety girl, but her only special power is to replay conversations continuously and leap to conclusions in a single bound. I touches anxiety's shoulders as she finds the ground and dances with me in the rain. I worries the blood will make a mess as it drips from her fingertips that are cut from anxiety's shoulder blades. I cries tears that are mistaken for rain, wondering if she can also hide the strain of anxiety's pain and make it the norm by keeping me and I in a constant storm. I am trapped in a trepid love triangle between me, my anxiety, and I. But see, I understands that three is a prime number and her problems are only divisible by the one and itself. So I says mantras of affirmations over and over again until she drifts off to a land where I dreams of a freedom that filters the flow of frustration far beyond her mind's flooded streams. I tries to tastefully trickle the pessimism through time machines and transform her trauma into treasure trophies that still twinkles under the darkest of lights. But sadly, her efforts tremble under the strength of this lover's tryst. I hope the truth can be found between me, my anxiety, and I. But until then, I am forever trapped in a trepid love triangle. I'm strong and thoughtful. I wonder why shadows lengthen as day shortens. I hear thoughts in the sound of silence. I see infinite possibilities with the sunrise. I want my bones to sigh and settle in peace. I am strong and thoughtful. I pretend I can hear your smile. I feel strength in my imagination. I touch the future's memories. 
I worry that the days are never long enough. I cry for the words left unsaid. I'm strong and thoughtful. I understand that failure is an option. I say the truth I live. I dream of suspending time and space. I try to walk a bit further. I hope I learn to accept my perfect imperfections. I'm strong and thoughtful. Thank you. I am honest and caring to a fault, but I love it. I wonder why there were never options from my career's advisor. I hear the applause from the little boy I left behind. I see him smile at me from my rear view mirror. I pretend my life is the Truman Show. I, I feel exposed constantly. I touch the edges of history. I worry I won't leave a fingerprint. I cry inside every time I hear a sentence begin, black people don't. I am honest and caring to a fault, but I love it. I understand the world is fully, fully formed, but I say it still has room left to grow. I dream of nothing as I try, to, I try to keep the views of others off my pillow. I hope for compassion to be the default. I am honest and caring to a fault, but I love it. Thank you. I am free. I am love. I wonder if light is enough. I hear the heartbeat of the bees and see the sun and moon move across the sea. I want nothing else but for you to be. I am love. I am free. I, pre I pretend everyone thinks like me, but I know that's not true. I feel the heaven on earth while hell's in view. When I touch the silk wings of a moth, I worry I just altered its path, bringing a pre premature transition. I cry melody from the soul, but that reach for stars in this prison. I am free. I am love. I understand freedom is a state of mind. And I say, fuck the state and love your mind. I dream crazy shit sometimes. And I try to decode it and express it in my rhymes. I hope you love me as I love you and feel the freedom that is deeply rooted and divine. I am love. I am free. I am an amazing overthinker. And I wonder if time can ever be real because I hear the death I went through now. I can see my resurrection on the cross in my room, so I want to be free from this state of being. I am amazing and an overthinker. I pretend love is my best friend, and I feel as though life is stronger than me whilst I touch the joy I wish to have. I worry that I will never heal. These days I cry when my heart feels too heavy. I am an amazing overthinker. I understand that I create my own destiny, so I say I will be great. I dream to be free from my towering thoughts, thus I try to be one with happy smiles. I hope to become better in my becoming. I am amazing and an overthinker. I am a beggar and a thief, so I wonder what type of impression I'd leave. I hear your inner thoughts, I see your reflection, I want nothing else apart from your time. I am a beggar and a thief. I pretend to be bailed off, but I have no sense. I feel nothing at all. Trying to touch a jewel, but I worry if I lose it all to you. I cry with a smile like a crocodile. I am a beggar and a thief. I understand how I'm viewed. I say nothing where I leave that onto you. I dream you can see me for me. I try to leave clues, but there's solvings up to you. I hope for the day you realize I am a beggar and a thief that is on your side. Thank you. I am not here and here at the same time. I wonder how I perform this magic trick of straddling two lives. However I'm doing it, I'll be fine, but it's the hardest thing I've ever had to explain. What I see is hands held up to the sky. I can't be sure if they're mine. My simple complexity of two-ness combined, I am not here and here at the same time. I pretend that it's just another day of disassociation, but it's just waiting for me to remember it's there. I feel it stare like a sentence I can't read, a word I want to finish, but it's blocked behind my teeth that looks like a smile to you. 
Like great change is so close, I can touch it. I still don't get much from it. Reconnect with blame, I am not here and here at the same time. I understand my feelings lie before they float before through the door like a drunk teenager coming in at four when they please. I would love to come back to reality, but what would I do with it? There's not much I can see, but still I wonder about time and time wonders about me. I say it's mine now and will forever be. I try to burn through life as bright as my retinas will allow me to display. I hope I don't have to choose a world that it never goes away. Owed to the strange safety of my disorder, balancing on the line, I am here and not here at the same time. Thank you. <laughs> I am a man of few words and as many actions. I wonder if I will obtain what I see in my dreams. I hear the laughter of various children. I see chocolate brown spaceships with wheels and propeller signs that can drive. I want everything that I can see in those dreams. I am a man of few words and as many actions. I pretend to have the most bloody, gory fights with demons, and I feel absolutely no pain as this all goes down. I touch cashmere carpets. I worry that my family will never know how much I love them. I cry when I think about the way that Sylvester passed. I am a man of few words and just as many actions. I understand that each person is their own God. I say blood isn't always thicker than water, but it's a shame though. I dream of chocolate brown spaceships with wheels and propellers that can drive. I try at nothing, because whatever's meant to be, will be. I hope this all works out for me. I am a man of few words and just as many actions. I may not be perfect, but I can admit that openly. I always wish for someone that just loves me for me. I do my best to understand that there are so many ways love can translate. I can create the ideal love in my mind, but I find that I want the people around me to feel authenticity. I hold on to some things forever, like a legacy. I have unusual ideas like living in a jungle, under the moon and stars. If I were an animal, I'd be, no, I am a lioness. Queen of my jungle, Safari, Rastafari. <laughs> I have a secret talent. I can love the same person in a million ways. I am a woman who says what she means and means what she says. Dear person of whom I no longer speak, the one for whom my heart's wounds no longer bleed, the one from whom I am healing, I just thought you should know what I'm doing now. I am a force of pure divine love energy who spends a lot of time feeling comfortable and secure in the knowledge that I am worthy of love. I just thought you should know how I'm feeling. I'm feeling ready to shine because I have finally decided to leave your memory in the past where it belongs. I just thought you should know what I've been through. Since the last time I saw you, I have worked hard to pick up my self-esteem from the dust where you left it. I have unpacked the emotional baggage a hundred times over, only to find it back at my doorstep, blocking my path each time I thought I was on my way to a new opportunity. That time you said you loved me, but I was so dead inside that I felt nothing was especially important to me. I just thought you should know what I wish for the future. I hope that next time you profess to love someone, it is not code for I need you, or I hate you, but I'm selfish, so I don't want to let you go. Or, I deeply resent the fact that you're half white, but if I engage my dick, my heart, and my twisted mind all at the same time, we can pretend to love you just for a little while. Long enough to use you, because we think you look quite nice. I just thought you should know what I don't miss about you. I'm glad I don't have to worry about being held back by your controlling paranoia anymore. I just thought you should know what I have pleasant memories of. I remember the way we used to laugh when your daughters came to visit. I just thought you should know that I comforted them. That time you screamed in their faces that their mother was a fat cunt just after you argued with her on the phone and before you stormed out. You should know that they didn't deserve that and that telling them it was only because you loved them and were scared of losing them shouldn't have been my job. You should know by now 
how precious the women in your life are. And I sincerely hope you now know a few strategies for controlling your temper. Above all, I just thought you should know that I'm cool. And I hope you are too. Empty and vast, cry the whole day away, days. I just thought you should know what I'm doing now. I am a woman who is no longer ashamed to admit that I didn't at first fit seamlessly into motherhood and that sleepless nights had me feeling deprived of my own life. I am a mother who spends a lot of time reassuring myself that we all make mistakes and that good days can outweigh the bad. I ask for help when I need it. And I'm not afraid to say I need a little time for myself when I feel it is all getting a little too much. I just thought you should know how I'm feeling. I am impressed by how depressed you had me being, how isolated you had me from those who gave my life meaning, how scared I was to confess that I wasn't the best I had ever been. Because before you, I was constantly achieving all that I was dreaming for, and yet somehow you had me believing that I was unworthy of receiving the blessings I had been praying for. I just thought you should know what I have been through. Since the last time I saw you, I found my way through the night without a single star in the sky to guide me. You haunted my every step and I heard your laughter on the wind as you patronized my efforts to find me. You hid my joy from me. You even hid my own voice from me. That time, I trusted myself enough to know I wasn't well and that I needed a little help with my mental health was especially important to me. I just thought you should know what I wish for the future. I hope that the mountains you made me climb to get my mind right have prepared me for battles that I will stand victoriously in and slay the darkness that comes from within. I have walked through the valley of the shadow of depression, so why would I fear death or dying? I just thought you should know what I don't miss about you. I am glad I don't have to worry if today will be the day I will end my life, if today I will cease to be a mother and a wife, if I will submit to the depression and give in to the strife. I don't worry about that anymore. I just thought you should know what I miss a lot. I miss the way you used to cuddle me in bed, hold me there, screening the anxieties in my head. I was comforted by your numbness, and I rejected people for loneliness instead. I miss this. I miss this like I'd miss a fucking hole in my head. I just thought you should know that. Peace out. No longer yours, Lucy Zion. The push and pull of your love leaves me in no direction at all. I've never been in love, he said, and this is torture to my ears, for I have loved you a thousand times already in just two years. And it's painful every time these words escape my lips for what could be worse than unrequited love in a relationship. Well, I may not be perfect, but I can see you here forever. I always wish for my soul to actually translate your words as I do my best to understand your love language. I have a secret talent. I can abandon myself before you can. I'll wait for you to love me back wherever I am. All the time, I'm with you, that's fine. But if you can't keep up, you'll get left behind. And I'll still love you. It's a love you can save. And I will give you my sea if you can handle the waves. Thank you. <laughs> 